Hey guys, this is KRX here back with another review. This time I'll be reviewing Deluxe Class All About Jazz from Transformers Animated. Jazz is a member of the Elite cl of the All About Elite Guard, but unlike his comrades Sentinel Prime and Ultra Magnus, he is not so much about he is not so strict and about going by the rules as he is about getting the job done and doing it stylishly. He's all about occult experiencing cool aspects of different cultures across the galaxy. And that is how he goes by his whole life. And as such, he's usually easier to get along with than the others. So here we have him in his alt mode, in which he takes the form of a stylish sports car. His main with the main color being white with some black windows, plus some paint decals of red and blue, it's a racing stripe down the front, and some nice uh, exhaust pipes on the sides and spoke like hubcaps, as well as the Aobot Elite Guard symbol with the wings on the side. Painted in traditional red, rather than silver like a lot of the other Autobot symbols for animated. On the other side, there isn't too much of a problem except you can see his head. But since not many people, since you don't really look at it from the bottom most of the time, it's not too much of a problem. So for his transformation, first you're gonna take the back section and fold it out, extending it all the way in the back. And as you do so, his rear bumper will fold out to become knee pads. And you take these panels on the inside and fold them out to become the feet. And you can split apart the legs, like so. Next step you're going to do is the arms, whereby you take them and fold them out to the side. And take this panel underneath his chin and fold it down. And you fold down that part, fold down the front bumper, then push the wheels further in until they lock the chest into place. And you fold out the arms, straightening them out and folding them down. Fold out the hands, twist around the panels on the sides and rotate out the exhaust pipes. And use the same thing on the other side. Fold out the arm, extend, and straighten. Fold out the hand, rotate the side panel, extend out the exhaust pipes. Here we have about Jazz in his robot mode. He's got to kind of get him strained out. Okay, I'll just adjust my camera. So we have him in his robot mode. As you can see, he's very lean and fit because, and this is because, like Prowl, he is also a practitioner of Circuit Sue as can be seen by his exhaust pipes which extend out to become nunchaku. You can like spin around and each one can fit within his hand. Just make sure you have the side without the peg in it facing down. You slide in the rope then slide up into his hand. And you can do the same on the other side. Just like so. So. Now he's armed. 
and ready for battle. And, uh, yeah. That's the thing. The wheels really do help to lock the chest into place. So articulation-wise, head rotates on a ball joint. Can go 360, but it gets to a tough spot nearing the back of the head. You move the head up and down. Uh, taking a good look at the head, we see it's got a kind of goatee and kind of shade-like visor. And headphones on the side. And uh, he's also got light piping in the back of his head. I'll be using this book light for all my light piping expression purposes. Just showing it off like that. See, he's got some nice bright blue light piping. Really does look pretty cool. So, coming in the door. So, he's got full 360 degrees rotation of the arms. Got a double jointed elbow, wrists are on a ball joint and can rotate. Got, uh, well, kind of waist rotation, but it's more at the upper torso. Legs can move forward and back, in and out. He bends a double jointed knee and has uh, up and down foot rotation, rotation mov movement, up and down foot swivel. And you also swivel at the knee. This guy's got some nice articulation. And he also is definitely got good build. He's also with that articulation, he's got some nice tight joints, so nothing here feels loose. So he can very well keep whatever pose you give to him. Which is one thing that is admirable in any action figure. So I'm going to just get into a pose and I can give my final thoughts. So overall, Jazz is a nice Autobot. He's definitely got a cool look and design to go with his personality. And has simple enough accessories that work well for him. And don't seem to be put on there unnecessarily. And he's really fun to play with. You can get him to all kinds of cool poses. He's got also a stylish vehicle mode as well. So I definitely recommend this. If you're gonna pick up Autobots from the Elite Guard, I suggest picking up Prowl first. I mean, Jazz first. <laughs> yeah, sorry for that mistake, but Prowl and Jazz, you know, are both kind of like the Cyber Ninjas. So he gets extra points for that. So yeah, I highly recommend this to Transformers Animated fans and fans of the Elite Guard. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.